Hi, my name's John. Welcome to the second part in a series of videos reviewing this Artec CNC plasma table. In this part of the review, I'm going to do a little bit on health and safety, what you can do to make yourself safe when you're using a plasma cutter. There are some simple things that make life a lot more pleasant and a lot safer. So if we start off with safety, I mean obviously you're using high currents, high pressure compressed air, there's heat involved, there's a lot of sparks, all you need is one of them. You can look in a plasma or for ordinary glasses, ordinary glasses will kill the UV rays. But if, if you use one of them, it means if something goes wrong and you get a big splash of sparks, they're not going to get you. That's simply an oxycetylene fuel cutting shade, a number five, or you can just use your ordinary welding screen set onto a low setting. The next Hazard, I suppose, is fumes. You get some nasty fumes off plasma cutters. You need ventilation. This table is also equipped with a water table, and there's a chemical here which goes in, you mix with water, that kills the sparks and also absorbs a lot of the fumes. So, the first thing I want to do is read the instructions. Simple. Right, I'm going to put half a litre of this into 12 litres of water. I'll read the instructions. It's uh, you don't drink it, you don't want to get in your eyes. It's pretty nasty stuff. So the first thing we'll do is put the, the water in. As the water's going in, I can see that the, the table actually wants to jack it up in that corner a little bit. It's actually not too bad. It's lying there fairly level there. There's probably half an inch of water on the bottom, so I'm going to put the same in again, 24 litres. The PC that controls the plasma table runs Windows XP. Windows XP was always a good, reliable operating system. Preloaded into the, the system is all the software you're going to need to get you up and cutting. There's also, you click on down here, set of Artec guides. So you click on one, you click on that one. Tells you all about setups and there's a vast amount of information here. Artec fully realised that lots of people don't like reading instruction manuals on computers. Personally, I don't. I'd rather sit at home and read a proper manual so they have done hard copies. All broken down into nice, easy, understandable bits. Of course, there's also the instruction manual for the actual plasma cutter itself. And there's one thing as well with Artec, they're just on the end of the phone. Normal working hours you can ring up and you can speak to somebody that actually knows what they're talking about. They can talk you through a problem on your machine. If you've got a problem that you can't sort, they can actually they can go online onto your computer and sort it out for you from there. If you you know if you make a mess if you've made a mess of some software, they can reinstall it from their end. Which is always a a nice thing to know. I had the lad up here that actually builds a table and he spent nearly a day with me and honestly the, the knowledge base that they've got down there is absolutely fantastic. This is the program that controls the operation of the plasma table. The program's called Mac3. There again it's a well proven, well established piece of software. There's also video tutorials built in to show you how to use this. There's tons and tons of stuff online uh, to show you how to use it, how to get the best from it. I've got some washers to make for a friend. They're big washers, spacer washers, that are going to be used on a tractor bucket. This is the software that Artec installed. It comes ready installed on the PC. It's a simple CAD design software. I'm going to use this to draw the washers. Bearing in mind that I'm not that good with CAD drawing. I'm not bad with a lathe and a milling machine. But anything I've learned on this program, I've learned through the Artec tutorials. Right, so it's a washer, so we need to draw a circle. 
right there's a circle you need to give the circle a size the watch has 90 mil a day with a 50 mil hole so we'll change the size of that to 90 millimeter right then we need to put a, a hole in the middle of it so another circle and that needs to be 50 Right, so that's the washer we can then make it big so you can see it you can click onto the line if you click on the line there it gives you the size 90 that one gives you the size of the whole 50. we need to export this so we can use it in another program so we can set the prompt as for the cut so simply go file export it's going to be exported to a file i've set up which is strange enough called Artec plasma I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to call it Richard's Washer because it's Richard's Washer. Richard's Washer export. And that's it done. Right, the next program we need to open is a program called SheetCam. This also comes ready installed. That's a sheet cam basic page. We need to go into file. We need to import a drone. Import drone. The drone comes up straight away there. Rich as washer. DFX file. Open. It's in metric. Right, that's a drone there. The drone's in red and yellow, which means that the, it understands which is the outside, which is the inside of the washer. So we need to set up some cutting parameters. Outside offset, that would be cutting on the outside of that. And the computer knows because that's in yellow to cut on the inside of the hole. Right, the material we're going to be using is 2.5 mil mild steel. On there, 12 gauge 2.6, that'll do. Need to click a layer so it exists. The layer zero has only one layer of the to the drone work here right so it's actually showing the cut path there that's going to start from the inside and that one's going to start from the outside what you can do you can run a simulation it'll simulate how it's going to cut it it's going to cut the inside out first and then the outside that's good right so from there we need to generate a J code which is what we need to use in the Mac 3 to do the actual cutting. Simply click onto there. File name Richard's washer. Save as G-code. Save. There's no problem. There's a problem that tells you on here. It's created the G-code. Everything's good to go. Okay. Now we need to open the operating system for the table. Which is that one. Mark 3 Right, I need to load the J-code in to the system that we've just created so you click on the yeah, load J-code and it comes up with the various things I've been making and we're looking for Richard's washer which I think is that one open Yep, that's the trans washer. We're going to waste the least amount of material. It's probably about there. Zero the two axes so it knows where it's starting from. And it can regenerate the path. It's going to be cutting. That's it there. So you can see it starts in the bottom left hand corner of the plate and works itself around.
right that's the washer we've just cut that's the top face and that's in the knee. that's a decent result surely agree there's not much matter with that 